feels like ages ago but uh, I think I would have been about 10 or 11 years old and uh, there was a gentleman obviously Mahesh Rodrigo and the legendary Suma Navaratnam and they were you know promoting youngsters and junior rugby um, so yeah I could have been around 10 or 11 and I remember our first tournament was at, at Bamba at St. Peter's there was a junior rugby carnival and uh, it was I think if I remember it was uh, tennis side and it was barefoot just ran around passed the ball it was a lot of fun my dad having played uh, quite a bit of cricket and was synonymous with raw cricket so uh, having the opportunity to to make a name in not cricket but in rugby was also it was exciting prospect but I did I did play cricket till about under 17 but I was nowhere near as good enough uh, at that level but uh, rugby I just took to from the time I was 11 or 12 years old so I really enjoyed it my father wanted to play in his time I think at that time it was uh, the likes of uh, Lucky Disanayaka, Yuval Kalu Arachi, Keith Paul, uh, great guys and I would heard all the stories uh, but I think my father wasn't allowed to play uh, by his parents. Yeah, so I actually ne never played in the under 17 or what was known as the Simitra Arachi Trophy. Um, so from the time I was about 15, 15 onwards I was in the uh, under 20 first 15 squad. Um, so I played from 91 to 94. Um, of course, the memories were of first watching a Bradby were probably in 83, 84. You know, it was Sriyan Kure, Sampat Agalavatta, who, uh, you know, unfortunately is no more with us, but was an absolute, you know, fearless leader, example as a leader. And, you know, watching those teams, 83, 84, how they played together, uh, very slick. Um, I would have been, you know, obviously at that time still eight, nine years or seven, eight years old. Uh, but that was the memories of us watching the Royal side play in the Bradby. Um, sad that Agale was, he won't be around this year and this year he would have also been the chief guest. But uh, memories of him as a player and also we were so fortunate he was our coach when we were playing, you know, under 15, under 17 and he, he, he left a big imprint on us uh, into the sides that went on to play. Um, 91 was our captain was Mahendra Danayaka. We played uh, against a fabulous uh, Trinity side uh, led by Ayaz Dean. I mean, those guys just rampaged on us. But it was a good initiation into into playing uh, against Trinity and playing in the Bradby. Um, and of course, 92 we played under Harindu Vijay Singh, and that was we were not supposed to win anything. Uh, we had I think we lost uh, with the up in Candy because we had. We had too much for lunch, I think, uh, but it was, it was, you know, a, a good set of guys and we were the youngsters coming up. We were only 16 at that time and uh, we were able to beat the much fancy Thomians who were unbeaten for three years, I think, Savantha side. So that was a turnaround and we ended up, you know, holding the Trinitians to a nil-all and three-all draw. It was the first tie in the Bradby Shield and we really didn't know what to do, but for us it felt like a victory. So that was great. Uh, in 93, our captain was uh, Chintaka Abe Singh, uh, Pusa, and I was his deputy and then we had sort of had that experience. So, we had a pretty good season. Um, we lost by a whisker to, to St. Thomas's, uh, had a rough game against Isipatana as well, but I think played like 10 minutes extra time, but we lost uh, at almost dusk there um, and then uh, managed to hold off Trinity in uh, Nittavela, very tough game, it was like 3 nil. Uh, but I still recall when you ask about memories, they had a fabulous uh, centre combination, Zaruk and SP Silva and I think SP in a rare occasion got through and it was just him, you know, coming, it was just him and the trial and managed to just get a step in and tackle and came back with this 3 nil lead and then we played a pretty good game in Colombo and won 10-3. Uh, so we, we managed to actually get the bread in our hands um, and of course in 94 um, you know we had a great great bunch of players and uh, uh, that those band of brothers that played together so we had an unbeaten season uh, managed to win the, the league uh, the bread B, uh, the Gunaratna and it was a good year yeah I mean you know we had played together since we were uh, probably 12 13 years old you know, everyone, whether it was in the, in the forwards or the backs, had come together. We had, you know, different skills, but 
the few guys that I would say that really helped us hold our own, we had obviously uh, people like Asanka Rodrigo who played for us 93-94 as our fly half, went on to play for I think Sia and obviously Sri Lanka. Uh, we had Chiki Charit and uh, uh, Damnika Kulutunga and uh, Kure who was uh, an absolute beast. Uh, you know, it was great to have him on our side because he, you know, before these these big hits came, he would, you know, set us up in the middle and he could play at wing and he could play at centre. Uh, we had uh, uh, Lakpa Tirana, my deputy, who again played with me almost from 91 to 94 as well, who played flanker number eight. Uh, we had Shivan Kanagishwaran, who was extremely athletic. Um, he could, uh, you know, win us the ball in the line outs, was very good in cover defence and very athletic number eight. Um, and we had, uh, who else? Uh, we had Sampat who played Skamma for us. I'm talking more like the 93-94 sides. Uh, Chamari Vijay Singh. So I think that back row probably 93-94, the likes of Chamara, Lucky, Shivan and of course even uh, Chintaka, uh, captain in 93 was, uh, was a formidable uh, group. But I think it was all put together, but even in 92 with Harindu, uh, even in that year, you know, we had so many seniors uh, playing with us and that they helped us. You had Harindu, Diran Vikrama Singh, uh, uh, Pasca, second row. We had Rajita Gunaratna who scored the try, was, was great in the front row. Um, then we had myself, um, Dhammika, uh, Chiki, uh, Shehan playing for us at fullback. Jalia was a footballer who turned out to be, you know, a, a great asset for us. So it was, it was quite well balanced. So it all led up to that year. Yeah. So I think, yeah, like, you know, we also had a few players coming in. We had, you know, Harith uh, Buria, who was a great cricketer for all. He came in with uh, Rukmal. So we had this great second row. And, you know, you couldn't, Suji, you couldn't lift, right? And anyway, you couldn't lift those guys today either. But so we had this experience and then combined with Reza, Ruki, um, Harith coming in. Because we knew if you look at the 93, 94 Trinity side, especially... 93 had, you know, Rajivi, Aluvihare, you had Hari Soma coming up as a fabulous player. Uh, Nalin Mohandiram gave was a scrum off. You had uh, Rally uh, and you had Rangika who was a very, very good fly half. I think, you know, he probably would have been a, a fabulous talent in any club you know, or in any country. Rangika was a really good athletic player. Um, so they were also a very formidable side. And, you know, with, when it's Royal Trinity, it's about pride and passion, right? So you have to decide who wants it more on the day and literally to the end, uh, you would know uh, which way it will go. Yeah, it is, you know, but it, it, it was, right? I remember being in Candy this time, watching the Bradby and somebody behind us, I think might have been the, fo the famous uh, 88 side, Bonsa and Tora side in 88. And one of the guys in the team saying, Machang, we only had the lemons and we had to run off with a bit of glucose if you were lucky. And now it's, it's you know, so... The training has evolved, you know, the scale of the game has evolved, you know, the social media and the interest is massive and that's generally what happens in, in sport. So it's great for all of us involved to see it, it being embraced across the larger community that it's not just seen as Royal Trinity but it's a great event for rugby calendar in Sri Lanka and of course together with, you know, the quadrangle and all of, the, you know, these the channels, Papare supporting it. Everyone who's even overseas gets to enjoy it. You know, of course, as you know, so much happens before and after the game and that's as important. But I think for the players, it's, it's, it's a lead up for at least two weeks, right? So sometimes, as you might have seen in Candy, the anxiety can get the better of you. But, you know, someone's got to come out on top and we live to fight another day. Yeah, I think, look, there's two aspects to it. I think one is the experience of playing in a team sport and, you know, playing the Bradby is itself is an event, but playing in a team sport, Today, you know, you see consultants doing workshops to figure out how to work as a team and how to collaborate. Here you get it for free, right? So what we learned the most is that everybody is different. But this is something you do that as a team, you learn how to uh, work together, win together, lose together. And losing is as important as winning. It's those moments that you lose and the moments you feel like you couldn't do your best that won't, won't want you to, you know, get better in whatever you do. So whether it's work or family or whatever you do in life, if you feel like you want to do it and do it well, that's the best grounding, playing a sport like this, right? So friends can pick you up and you understand the dynamics of 
you know you can come from different backgrounds but you come together with this uh, this vision to just play win you know and along the way you'll have a few losses but you learn a lot from that so same time even uh, you know what rugby is like right i mean you saw um, even in our local schools when we we lose we go hard at each other but even if they lose a parent or if they have a struggle in life i can tell you in this fraternity it's not about schools they'll help each other uh, there'll be some schools that you know have a difficulty in getting funding whatever and this fraternity pulls together so that's the great thing about rugby it's a great leveler i think embrace the sport you know it's like i said it's it's a great opportunity especially if you start at a young age when i mean young if you are willing and able right and uh, you know it's it is a contact sport but if you are careful and confident and if you learn what the the enjoyment of the game is it will can teach you a lot the the less life lessons you learn from playing this game are amazing um, to this date uh, working as a professional um, you can still draw back on so many things you learn from them it could be your coaches it could be your teammates um, and sometimes you reflect back on those moments that you had and like i said sometimes it's after the game when you you know you you build those friendships that last a lifetime and there is authenticity in playing a sport that it's it's very hard to get uh, if you're only concentrating on the academics and and things like that so i just hope that the royal saint indians will you know embrace the sport and continue to support the sport in the school and um, hopefully develop into great citizens <laughs> that's a, that's a very tough question because you learn in every year but of course you know the 94 side was you know sentimentally for me having had the opportunity to do obviously lead this great team and it was that group of us who played together from the time we were kids so that was that was really special and something that you know I'll, I'll take with me till the day i have to i'm no longer here i suppose so that's it <laughs>